are in a very special time in Christian history. We are at the crossroads of the life of the church where some will say the church is coming close to an end in North America. Others will say, no, we're just being called to look at ourselves differently. How do we use our buildings? How do we use our time? How do we use our resources? What do we do when our resources are limited? Is the church today the same as the church in the 1950s? Is it the same church as the 17th, 18th century? No, it's changing. And in the name of Jesus, the great high priest, in the blood of Jesus. As the Bible says, not in the blood of bulls and calves and goats, it's certainly not in the money of Wall Street, and it's not in the promises and the lies of this government or any other government. It's not any of those things, but our assurance is in the truth and the life and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who we have released. And that Paul, who is Lord of all the church, is not going to let this church fall or any church fall. All we need to do is get up, get our face up, and walk straight. And we're allowed to complain a little while. I'm a complainer. I'm a whiner. But then I get up and say, thank you, Lord, for dealing with me. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me here. And you are living proof that the church is strong. It might be getting small in some places, but the church is strong. You're going to go down and demonstrate the love of Christ. I have someone call. I'm getting real out of my uh, my sermon. I'll really close it after this. I got a call the other day from someone that wanted money and support to go evangelize the Jews in Israel to convert them to Christianity. I said, well, well they have a fine religion. Judaism is fine, and they know all about Jesus. If they want to convert, there's plenty of opportunity. I'm concerned about Christians. I don't need to go out and evangelize. What you're doing is evangelizing my love. Using your hands and your feet. You are the presence of Christ. This church, the little plastic cookie jars that are full of money to buy food for us and a family shelter and the other things we do, we don't have to wave banners around. That's obnoxious, that stuff. That's how we demonstrate the love of Christ. This church. In any church that believes in the power of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, has a future. The only thing that can hold us back is ourselves. God ain't going to hold us back, but we can hold ourselves back. That's not going to happen because we believe in 